Here's some improvements I did to my Arctic Fox truck camper in preparation for some extreme cold weather camping. So what we're looking at here is the back side of the exterior shower enclosure or the outside shower. It's kind of a little white uh, square box and then the plumbing fittings screw onto it and that's attached to the wall through a hole in the wall. So what I've done here is cut some pink foam board insulation, one great big square of it, and then I took four smaller pieces, probably about an inch to an inch and a half wide, and those thin narrow strips, I put a perimeter of those around the outside of the enclosure, or around the perimeter, and then that gave me a surface to attach my bigger square piece to. A person could even go a step further and disconnect those plumbing lines and install some caps on those plumbing lines. I have found some caps available where you could cap off those lines. This is looking at the back side of the freshwater tank fill fitting and it's just a enclosure that's mounted to a hole on the wall so there's a lot of space there between the backside surface of that enclosure and the interior surface of the wall. So I've taken some white, somewhat flexible closed cell foam insulation and cut it to fit. I also installed some on the back side of the cable TV connection. Both of these spots that I added insulation to are located behind the oven and I had the oven out doing another project so that's when I was able to install this insulation. This is looking under the dinette bench at a door that is used to access an under the dinette storage area. So what I have done is taken some spray foam and filled in a gap between the hole in the wall and the, the framing of that door. And once I kind of smoothed out the foam then it looked pretty decent and wasn't quite so messy looking. I also used some spray foam to fill in the gaps around the entry door that's a little bit more involved because you have to take the entire framework off of the inside of the door. It's basically the clamp ring that partially holds the door in place. And if you really wanted to go overboard, you could do that to all of the windows. Although doing the windows is a little bit tricky because a lot of times the window treatments at the top of the window make it difficult to get all of the screws out to remove that clamp ring that holds the window in place. And something else I did to this compartment door is I first made a cardboard cutout template and then I, I made that piece of cardboard fit around the perimeter of the frame and then I cut out this piece of pink foam board to match the size of my cardboard template and I notched out where each of the latches are. Here's one of my skylights. So what I've done is taken a sheet of foam board that has foil on both sides and then I cut that to slip into the skylight. I put some blue painter's tape around the edges of it to keep the foam from coming apart. And this is looking at the skylight in my bathroom and I've got two of these little foam roof vent pads that actually to perfectly fit. And then of course I have an, another one right there in the actual roof vent. If you've got any other cool ideas that you've done for cold weather camping and improving the insulation value of certain things on your RV, drop those in the comments below. I'm curious to see and hear about other people's projects.